Hi, Rimandas Petrauskas, creator of the local trade copper. In this video, I will talk about the ghost trades. Now, ghost trades is something that um, looks like a, you know trades that appear from out of nowhere. And uh, there were some cases that you know people get confused. You know, I I don't know these trades where they're coming from, and so on. You know, but um, there is a very simple explanation where they're coming from, and actually those trades doesn't come just from out of nowhere they come from your old accounts that you probably forgot that you were be you know were using before or or something like that so basically here's the scenario right now i'm locked in uh, to one of the um you know trading strategies you know basically my live trading accounts that i have running on my remote computers and this particular strategy is using pending orders. As you can see, there are four pending orders placed. So usually ghost trades are pending orders in most cases, but they can also be market orders. But uh, this is usually seen, you know, the um, usually get ghost trades, uh, pending orders, you know, this is, uh, it's more rare to have market orders as ghost trades. So basically we have four pending orders and we're locked into this account uh, right here from Hot Forex. Now, if I switch to my client account, obviously I see the same four pending orders copied. But let's say today is the last day that I'm going to copy trades from this account and I decide to switch to something else. Now I say, okay, I just want to cancel this account. I just want to use something else. I don't want to copy this anymore. I just want to copy some other trading strategy or, you know, whatever. So, what will I do? You know, so obviously the first thing that I will do, I will switch my trading accounts. So I have a few trading accounts right here. One of them is my demo account at FXCM. Now, wise, you know, it would be wise to close all the trades before switching to another trading account. That what I would normally do, but because this is the investor password, you know, read-only access to this God Forex account, I don't have any option to close any trades right here. You know, maybe this account even, you know, it could not belong to me. It could be someone else's account that I just got their investor password, you know, from them maybe or whatever. So what do, to do that, you know, I don't have any access to close these trades. So my server EA would never mark them as closed on my computer. Right now I have these trades. Uh, on my computer in the local trade copper temporary kind of working folder that is listed right here. We can see working directory and here's the full path to the working directory of the local trade copper. So those four trades are stored as files in this folder. Now let me open that folder for you. Uh, actually easy way to do this is to open data folder of your MetaTrader then just go back a few folders like there with you know go to app data then local find the eacoder.com and here's the inside there's the ltc folder and ltc trades and now we can see that we have one two three four trades you know basically they are stored as files so these files will remain if I switch to another account because I didn't close them and only if I close these trades they will be removed you know but because I don't have any option to close them I just I just switch to another account and that's it I have no trades anymore but because this is another account my trade corporate didn't remove any of those files because it belongs to another account, it has no right to delete them whatsoever. So, I have no trades. Let's imagine scenario, I come back to my trading accounts like one week later, I totally forgot about my Hot Forex account that I was copying trades from it or whatever. And I just go to my client here and I say, okay, those were some old trades. I don't remember what that was. I just delete them and I will start over. So let's say I just get my blank chart window and I open my trade copper. And now once it loads, 
it will copy those four pending orders. So those are what I call ghost trades. So if you have trades, you know, usually pending orders that are appearing like that, don't freak out. Just know that there are ghost trades from some of, you know, some of your old accounts that you were using before. And there's a simple way to get rid of them. But before I get rid of them, let me just uh, show you a few more things. So let's say I close these again and I will start the client again once more but this time I will use one trick so this is the the one trick that you can use if you do not know how to delete those files get rid of those you know I find this parameter filter master accounts and then I go to my master account and here's the master account number so I can enter this master account number it will be 2653210 2653210 I click OK and now my client TA will copy the trades only from this particular master account only from this one master account and it says it right here following masters and the master account number I can put several master accounts separated by comma but in this case I just use one so now I see I don't have any ghost trades because it doesn't follow any other uh, master accounts you know there's no way for the server EA to know that there are some ghost trades because they could be you know they they might belong to some other EA running on another meta trade account on the same computer you know so but what to do if you just want to get rid of those trades so once again I go to the folder uh, working directory which is printed right over there it's a full path to that directory I go to this uh, directory and I select all the ghost trades I can identify them by trade numbers and after the dot it's the master account number so I delete these four. Let me just open new uh, some new trade from this master account just to see. Here we go. We have another uh, another another trade information in this file, and you know it's the trade ticket of my master trade. We can see it over there of my FXCM, and here is the um, master trade number. Uh, I mean master account number, the one we see right here. So basically it's easy to identify the traits that doesn't belong in there so I just delete these files and that's it now I go to my client EA I will run the client EA just like that and there won't be any ghost trades anymore here we go problem solved so next time you get ghost trades don't freak out and just know that those are just some old trades from your old trading account and at some point you were using server EA on that so just get rid of them and move on you know thanks for watching and i will see you in the next video